Dr. Miriam Rose Ungamer Bauman is an artist, activist, and writer. In 1975, she became the Northern Territory's first fully qualified Aboriginal teacher, and she's advocated for all students across the top end to have visual art included in their education. We lived the lives when we were little, similar to what our kids are living now. We knew the kids better. Why not have teachers within our communities as, as in the local people? And that's what inspired me to become a teacher, to help our kids. Through the Miriam Rose Foundation, she bridges the divide between Aboriginal culture and mainstream society to drive reconciliation. For us as Aboriginal people, that's when our job starts with our young people. We walk and talk and encourage them and teach them our culture and ceremonies, dances. She's worked hard to ensure the cultural independence of her people, allowing future generations to have access to this vital knowledge. For her incredible work, Miriam Rose has been recognised as a member of the Order of Australia. Dr Miriam Rose Ungamer Bauman, your 2021 Northern Territory Senior Australian of the Year. A Wiradjuri elder, Isabel Reed is the oldest living survivor of the stolen generation. Isabel was on her way home from school when she was taken away along with her brother Jack and sister Betty. Their parents had no idea what had happened to them. I lost all my childhood. I was pretty angry for a long time. As I got older, I started to realise that it wasn't going to do me any good, but I would do something about it. That experience was so life-changing for Isabel that she spends her time raising awareness about the stolen generation to ensure that it never happens again. My life is just pretty simple and what I do, I do for my community and for all children out there that need the helping hand that I didn't get way back then. She was also key to securing a $74 million reparation package to people who were forcibly removed. Such crucial funding to help many rebuild their lives and their families. Isabel Reid, your 2021 New South Wales Senior Australian of the Year. Torres Strait Islander elder Rose Ilu has worked hard to make sure that the customs and traditions of Indigenous people live on. Rose has knocked on the door of pollies at all levels of government to ensure that conversations about reconciliation and the sharing of traditional practices are front and centre. When I talk about unity, I feel that when we start getting to know one another about ourselves and where we come from and everything else. I think we live in a better world to be able to understand one another. She managed to get the customary adoption practices of Torres Strait Islander families legally recognised in Queensland. Rose highlights the impact of climate change on the Torres Strait and her voice is being heard globally at the UN. I just respect and honour the people that I work with my own family, my upbringing and discipline from my families back home. And for everything and everybody that walked with me in my career life. She also translates for Torres Strait Islander communities so they can access essential services. Rose Elu, your 2021 Queensland Senior Australian of the Year. For decades, Professor Richard Bruggeman has made a difference to the lives of people with disability by providing guidance to governments about disability services, inclusion and rights. My view is uh, that when everyone in our community does better, our community does better. And people with intellectual disability have a great deal to offer our community. He spent years on boards and panels, constantly advocating for people with an intellectual disability to be part of a community and enjoy a better quality of life. We continue to find opportunities where people with intellectual disability can contribute to our community. They contribute now, they work, 
They're involved in an array of things that probably many of us wouldn't understand. Richard was also appointed to a new government role to help protect people living with a cognitive or mental impairment from the spread of COVID-19. Professor Richard Bruggerman, your 2021 South Australian Senior Australian of the Year. I love the Scouts. It's such an awesome way to introduce youngsters to the joys of nature and the outdoors. Brian Williams has devoted more than 50 years to the Scouts and making sure that this institution stays alive in Tasmania. Brian set up a huge event in Launceston called Australian Venture, where he brought together youngsters from across the globe for 12 days of fun and activities. As a group leader for over 30 years, I've seen a young six-year-old Joey Scout, very, very shy, come in. And 12 years later, that same person as a mature teenager brimming with confidence at Government House receiving their Queen Scout Award. That is magic. It was so successful and the kids had so much fun that he was asked to put on several more national events. Beyond the adventure, Brian's work gives these kids access to community, culture and life experiences which are so important. And I've got a team of fantastic leaders and they are the ones that keep things going. They are the ones that have kids knocking on the door wanting to join because the activities are challenging, the activities are fun. And he walks the talk, having mentored more than 100 leaders through the Scouts. Brian Williams, your 2021 Tasmanian Senior Australian of the Year. In 1975, Beat Cam Nguyen and her family came to Australia as refugees. In search of community, Cam decided to set up her own when she founded the Vietnamese Friendly Society. Through the society, CAM provided translation services and information about Australia to newly arrived Vietnamese refugees, helping them to feel empowered. I think it's important that uh, new arrivals feel that uh, uh, they are welcome, being taken care of and helped, and that way they feel that they are part of the community, ready and able to uh, contribute. Under 10 years later, Cam formed the Australian Vietnamese Women's Association, which she still runs to this day. The association provides programs including home care, training and counselling to Victorians of all backgrounds. Beak Cam Nguyen, your 2021 Victorian Senior Australian of the Year. Dr. Richard Wally is a champion of Indigenous culture and uses his deep knowledge to support reconciliation. In Noongar country, he reinvigorated the modern day practice of welcome to country, the ceremony that's so important in building respect and recognition for Aboriginal culture. In your life, you've got to make a decision of what choices you make. And if you can make those choices and know that there's people that support you when you fail, that's a wonderful place. So it's an old saying that we have, that experience is what you get, where well, you don't get what you want. He's also a musician, performer and artist who designs jerseys for the Indigenous rounds of major sporting events. My message is Australia is a very decent place, full of very decent people. And we, as 3% of this population, we appeal to your common decency. And that decency is a fantastic thing. And you can't ask for anything else more than respect and decency. He's no stranger to accolades either. Richard's been recognised with an Order of Australia, an Honorary Doctorate and WA Citizen of the Year. Dr Richard Wally, your 2021 WA Senior Australian of the Year. Pat Anderson is an Alluwara woman and a powerful advocate for the health of Australia's First Peoples. Pat has spent time researching, writing and forming the country's thinking about Indigenous health issues and creating understanding and compassion between Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal Australians. I think I've been working in that space uh, most of my life. 
trying to get people to understand each other. So that's why I urge some compassion, try to understand and have an open heart. Pat has served on many committees and boards and she's presented to the United Nations Working Group on Indigenous People. It's time for us all, all Australians, to settle the unfinished business between us, between First Nations peoples and other Australians. These days, coming from a wonderful diversity of backgrounds and influences. Pat's a Human Rights Commission medalist and she's received an Order of Australia and NAIDOC Lifetime Achievement Award. She's such an inspiration. Patricia Anderson, your 2021 ACT Senior Australian of the Year.